Good evening and welcome to our Holy Week devotional time. My name is Pastor Catherine and I greet you from wherever you are joining me this evening. Today is Maundy Thursday or Holy Thursday uh, and this is the night that we remember. We remember Jesus gathering with his beloved friends for one last meal. We remember him declaring a new covenant, a new commandment, and showing them love through caring for them in the washing of feet and the sharing of a meal. So we gather this night with expectant hearts. Two hands and a basin and a towel at his waist, against twenty-four feet that had followed him this far. Without his outer robe, he looked frail, tired, old almost, and they heard how his knees creaked as he bent towards each pair of feet, sore and smelly, calloused and hairy, cracked and dirty. He never looked up as if feet were all that mattered, as if he could heal the whole world with water and a towel. Phillips, with the long scar down the ankle, he'd never heard the story of how Philip came by that scar. He wouldn't have time now. Andrews, whose feet were so small with toes like walnuts and pale stripes where his sandals had been, on and on he went and didn't speak and didn't preach and didn't promise anything but clean feet. In his hands he nestled a foot with long bones and dirt in the creases on the toes and a bad blister on the right heel, half of the skin torn away, blood raw. Why didn't he tell us, he thought. We would have slowed down, found some wool so to pad his sandals with. So he took the towel in his hands again and found a clean spot, and ever so gently pressed against the wound as he heard a hiss of pain. He prayed to his father for one more healing miracle, and a tear fell from above him and landed on his hand right in the middle, and it must have been a trick of the light, but Judas thought it looked like blood as he flexed his healed foot and stared after his bent savior, who had crept to the next beloved disciple with nothing to offer but a basin and a towel and two hands and hope. The reflection we just heard read uh, is one that is being read in our in-person services this evening. And I was struck by um, how the author described this last meal gathered with friends. I had never envisioned it that way. It felt almost intrusive as I read this reflection, like I was spying into a scene that was meant to be private. But isn't that the point? Isn't the point of this day, of this season, of this week to remind us that God has been at work, that Jesus was at work in the ordinary places and ordinary things and he reclaimed them as holy among them among us and from his example we are called to be people of intention people of deep care people of trust 
And so this evening, as we enter in to Jesus's final moments, days of freedom, as we enter into a season, uh, or we prepare to enter into a season called Easter, a season filled with expectant hope, we sit tonight in this tension, the what if. Yet also the why not. What if Jesus had done things differently? What if Jesus had not been as caring and loving to the disciples and to all they encountered. But yet, why not? Why shouldn't he have been? Even knowing the pain and the sacrifices he was called to make, why not choose to show love, choose to offer love? And so I wonder, what is our choice tonight, friends? Are we those who choose to act out of kindness and intention and love to one another and to ourselves? Or have we become so self-centered and self-focused we cannot even begin to witness the needs of those around us? Tonight, I offer you this. As you go through your evening, as you go through this weekend, anytime you touch water, take a few more minutes as you wash your hands for whatever reason. Do it intentionally, reverently. Maybe even offer a prayer as you are doing it. But may God use our hands and our feet to do his work where we are. May we help build God's kingdom here, a place of love. Let us pray. Holy and awesome God, we give you thanks that even in the midst of waiting, you chose to care for those you called beloved, you called friend. Help us too to choose love, to choose care, to choose to follow your example where we are. Be with us now as we journey through these days. Witness to the hope you offer, the refreshment you Friends, have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.